Dawn has a daughter, a dog, and an SUV, and she has no idea she could be putting all of them at risk because she's never penny tested her tires. Never. Never. The decades old penny test, which essentially warns of tire wear at two thirty seconds of an inch, may not be safe after all. A bar testing has shown that can take up to twice as long to stop when you're down to the penny level, and that's really a risk. John Rastetter is with the Tire Rack. They not only sell tires online, they are also the nation's largest independent tire tester. They are now recommending that you replace your tires when the tread wear gets down to the quarter test level. In other words, if you can see the top of George Washington's head, it's time for new tires. Well, really, the difference between the quarter tested tires and the penny tested tires can be the difference between stopping on a wet expressway or crashing into the car ahead of you. To illustrate their point to consumers, Tire Rack hired this testing facility near Reno, Nevada. Well, we use one vehicle to eliminate variables like vehicle weight, brake performance, and other things like that. By using just one vehicle and changing the tires, all we're evaluating is the differences between the tires. Watch what happens when the driver of this Mazda hits the brakes to simulate a panic stop on wet pavement with tires that have passed the quarter test. Now watch what happens when this same vehicle is fitted with penny tested tires. For the gearheads out there, that means four thirty seconds of an inch instead of two thirty seconds of an inch. Here's another way of looking at it. Look at how many more school bus lengths it takes to stop on penny tested tires versus quarter tested tires. We showed the video to Dawn. Pretty shocked at the results. The experts from Tire Rack say one reason some people wait so long to replace their tires is that manufacturer warranties don't wear out until 230 seconds of an inch or the penny tested level. But Tire Rack is pressuring manufacturers to change that saying that consumers' lives are worth more than just pennies. I'm Grant Winter reporting.